everybody. Welcome to the Hacienda Rivet here. Uh, today we're going to make something different. Uh, it's called Banana Beef Leaf. And uh, I got this idea from a lady uh, from Mexico who I subscribed to her channel. It's called Cocinando con Angel, uh, Cooking with Angel. And I'll uh, put a card up here in the corner and the links down below in the notes. Um, this, uh, sh she cooked something similar to this, which gave me idea, an idea for me. I'm going to do it my way. Uh, we, what we got here is from our steer we buy every year. A bunch of shank bones, uh, soup bones. They, they call it beef soup bones. Uh, very tough. We normally roast them in the oven uh, and then boil them and make stock out of it. Uh, this time around, I'm going to use these and I'm going to make a marinade with these ingredients that you see. And uh, that's going to soften them up. Then we're going to steam them in banana leaves. And this is going to come out just pull apart tender. And uh, I'm going to show you how it's done. Uh, I'll go over the ingredients for the marinade. Uh, we've got here some poblano peppers, two red serranos, an onion, garlic, a can of chipotles, <clears throat> just because I had it in the cupboard. Um, I'm going to use Sang's uh, Mongolian Fire Oil. Uh, thanks, uh, Matt, over at Matt's Barbecue, sent this to me in a um, care package. And it says, great for uh, adding zip to marinades. So we got to fry the chilies up, so darn it. We're going to add zip to my marinade. We've got some dried chipotle, pasilla, uh, dried pasilla, and uh, dried chile guajillo. Now, we're not going to use all of those, but I just had to buy the packets. So, uh, anyway, stick with me, and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so over a cast iron skillet, I got that Mongolian fire uh, oil. Boy, does it smell good. It's got ginger and all kinds of other stuff in there. Okay, so I've taken all the chilies and cut them open, and I've deseeded them. And what we're going to do now is we're going to cook them for a little bit and kind of get them softened up. Once they've cooked through and softened a bit, uh, we're going to add the, um, the onion and the um, chopped uh, poblanos. Now the two serranos, I did not de-seed and de-vein. They're just going in there whole. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, smoky. And we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, Fry up and soften up the vegetables like that. Oh, uh, I gotta add the garlic too. I'll, I'll be adding those in a moment. After about another five minutes of stir frying, uh, all the vegetables are getting softened. The onions are starting to get translucent. I added the garlic. So now we're gonna add two cups of uh, chicken broth. I just used uh, hot water and uh, chicken bouillon cubes. Now we're gonna simmer that. Oh, about 10-20 minutes until half the liquid's reduced. Okay, so um, after we let the stuff cool, we uh, put it in the food processor and we've got this delicious sauce. And to that we're going to add one tablespoon each, cumin and uh, ground oregano. Now we'll combine that real well and uh, let's go ahead and coat the meat. Alright, so here we have the uh, beef wonderfully coated in the marinade. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour the remaining marinade over it. Um, wrap it in plastic wrap and into the fridge it goes for at least 24 hours. Uh, join me then. Uh, looks like it's Dak approved. He wants them too. All right, here we have the Dutch oven. Now let's get this baby assembled. And there you have it. Now it's going into a 300 degree preheated preheated oven for five hours. Okay, after five hours of 300 degree uh, preheated oven, let's go ahead and open this up. See what it looks like. Oh my, banana leaf beef. Get this baby opened. Oh, smells delicious. And I know this, yes, look at that. The meat is falling apart off the bone. Let's get this plated up and make some tacos, shall we? All right, we got the two tacos here, and we're gonna put a little bit of team Elise on top of it, and you can see the link above on how to make that. As is traditional, some chopped radish, okay? And finally, a little bit of queso fresco, some fresh Mexican cheese, farmer's cheese. Oh my. Oh, yeah. Let's fold these babies over. Oh, my goodness. 
Look at that deliciousness. Will they stay? I don't know. I hope so. We'll adorn them with a little bit of uh, yellow Spanish rice. Okay. And last but not least, homemade guacamole. Oh yeah. Let's give it a try. Right, I'm gonna take a bite. Let's see what it's like. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Fall apart tender. Delicious way to use a tough cut of meat. If you notice, I didn't add any salt. It is just perfect. Thanks for watching, people. Have a great day. <laughs>